Hello, this is Brian Houle. I'm a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. And today I want to take a look at uh, adding uh, calculated fields in reports in ShareWell. <clears throat> so let's take a, take a look and dive right in. Here I've got a version 9 system set up and ready to go. I'm going to go into Tools, going to go to Reports and Report Manager. Uh, report Manager is where we uh, edit and create reports. So here I am in the Incident Association. I've got some uh, reports that ship with ShareWell, and you'll, you can see there's quite a few. Um, I'm going to go with this task list, my task list. And uh, I'll go ahead and right click it. I'm going to add a current date field to this report. So I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to go into the design report area here. And to do this, I'm going to actually add a calculated field from within the report designer to pull the current date. So here I have my task list. And this is a, the label for the title band. And we have you know our, our column header band and our detail band. And then we have some groupings down here. So what I'm going to do is um, slide this over a little bit, make some room. And then uh, I'll go ahead and grab a new label control. So I'm just going to the left, clicking and dragging, um, and it's matching my font here. It's a little big. I'm going to maybe make that a little bigger and make the font a little smaller. The report creator is pretty cool. Um, if, uh, if you've ever worked with anything like Microsoft Access or uh, Crystal Reports, any other report designer, you'll find it very familiar. Yeah, I'll make that maybe a 12 point font and uh, let's left align it. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, the first thing we're going to do is um, go to the right, go to our field list. Um, and if you don't see it, uh, I'm going to kill that, right? So how do we open our field? Well, quite simply, we're going to go to the view menu and we'll go down to this windows and we'll choose field list. I think by default it's open. So uh, you'll probably see something like this where we have uh, the shareable database and then we have all of the business objects uh, there that we have access to. Um, and you'll notice that uh, this looks an awful lot like the incident context, because it is. So what I can do at this point is if I right click, I can add a calculated field. Now I don't want to add a parameter not quite what I want here today, but I want to right click and add a calculated field here. And what that does is it immediately creates a calculated field down at the bottom. And from here, if I right click it again, I can add another cal uh, calculated field or edit the expression. However, I'm going to go ahead and edit calculated fields. Okay. So now we've got our calculated field collection editor. And I only have the one so far, so that's all that's appearing here but I can go ahead and start messing around. So we've got some behavior scripts up here. Um, we will not be looking at that today. That's a little bit more advanced, but if we go down to our data section, um, we've got some things that we can change. So we have our, our data member and we can bind this calculated field to a field, but that's kind of redundant, not what we want to do today. Uh, I want to do two things. First, I want to change my display name to We'll say today's, we'll say today date. Next, um, I'm going to go down to the expression. Okay. Uh, but, bef but after that, we have field type. And so I'm going to change that to date time because what I want to do is throw a date time in here. And then finally, if we want to keep this uh, consistent, I'll make the the design name equal to the display name. So today date, I can even change that to today's date, and we'll go from there. Okay, so 
the expression is where all the magic happens. So once I uh, click into the expression row here, I'll click my ellipsis button, and that brings up my expression editor. Now this expression editor is different than what you'll see in Sharewell. It's more like what you'll see in uh, Microsoft Office, Macros, Excel, that kind of thing. Um, so we have our functions, operators, fields, constants, and parameters. Uh, so you can kind of go through here, and of course we're already on functions. Um, so if you click through here, you can kind of get a sense of what is going on here. So I can actually build um, you know, expressions off of fields within the report editor. But if I go into functions, um, I further have this drop down where I can, I can click this and I want to go to my date time category. And very simply, I have, not unlike in something like Excel, I have a today function, which will return the current date. Um, this is important. Regardless of actual time, this function returns midnight of the current date. So, right, I just want to grab today. I can certainly do that. I can also grab now, which would return the current system date and time. So let's let's do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click now. And uh, what I'm going to do, I want to add this to my expression up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click it. So now appears in my expression. I'm going to keep it simple for right now. So I'm going to click OK. So now I have a nice little calculated field and I'll click OK. Now let's return to our field list. And as you can see, today's date appears. So now I can, of course, just drag this on. But if I've already got a label, I can click the label and then bind this label to my calculated field. No must, no fuss. And as you see, it starts acting as though it's a data field, like from down here, here with the description. So let's save this and see what it looks like. X out of that. Now I'm just going to click Run, select my, my task list report, and click Run. <clears throat> and there you have it. So I've changed this report to add the current date and time to this report. So this is handy for, um, you know, if you if you want to automatically have a date time stamp on your reports every time they're run, then all you have to do is add that calculated field and that will update every time the report is run. You'll know when the report uh, was pulled, you know, how current is the data on the report, et cetera, et cetera. And you don't have to uh, worry about people uh, remembering to do that. So that's how we add a date to a report via a calculated field in the report designer in Sharewell Service Management 9. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Sharewell videos. Thanks everybody.